Hey, welcome to another tutorial by Video Excel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to remove duplicates from your data set. So now before we go ahead and start deleting stuff, we need to identify what is a duplicate. Now either you or your business will define what a duplicate record is. But for the sake of this example, we are going to assume that if the email address is repeated more than once, then that is a duplicate record. So I don't have any duplicate email addresses in this data set, but let's go ahead and create one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a duplicate record. I will go ahead and insert a new row and then just hit Control D to copy the data from the cell above it. Let's just say I'm going to change the last name. I'm just going to call it Hux. So if you look at this data set, by my definition, this would be a duplicate record because the email addresses are repeating. And well, Excel can do that for you in a single click. Just go to data select your data and then go ahead and click on remove duplicates. It's going to bring up a box that's really asking you the business question. Well, what is a duplicate in your data set? Else, well, in my data set, the criteria for a duplicate record is the email address. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck everything else except for the email address. So what I'm trying to tell Excel is that if you see a duplicate email address, go ahead and delete it. So if I go ahead and click on OK, you'll notice that the second record um, will disappear. If I go ahead and click on OK, it prompts me well, there was one duplicate value found lost, and the rest of them are all unique. So go ahead and click OK. Now this may be OK for most of the scenarios when you're going to use the uh, option to remove duplicate records. But in the real world, the scenarios and the conditions and the business requirements, they are a little bit more complex. So um, let's go ahead and try to create an example and then see how we can, can manage the remove duplicate option. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and create a new record. And uh, we'll just copy everything from the top. I'm just going to hit control D to do that. Now here's the business requirement. We want to identify duplicate records based on the email address. We want to delete the earliest record, not the latest record. So say for example, the last name of the person changed and they placed an order on, um, just going to change this to 2010. So ideally, if you look at this information, we would want to keep the latest data because we know that if the order was placed on in 2010, then this is the most up to date information from this user. But if we go ahead and run the, the remove duplicate option now, it is going to go ahead and delete the second instance. And if that's not what we want, then the workaround to this is that you add a sort option to the order date. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go to order date. Uh, go to the home tab and I'm just going to go ahead and say, hey, I want to sort this data from Z to A. So what this is going to do is that it's going to move the latest data at the top. And then if I have duplicates at the bottom, it should not be a problem because um, it's going to go ahead and delete the old record. And I'm just testing out my drawing skills. here. So let's go ahead and run the remove duplicate option on this data set. Uh, we select the data and go to the data tab again and click on remove records. Now the record that we need to keep an eye on is this last one right here because this has a duplicate on row number 11. So these two records are the same by definition because the email addresses do match, but we want to keep the latest record and we want to delete the old record. So let's go ahead and try this out. Um, we select our range and then click on remove duplicates. Anybody who has a duplicate email address is a duplicate record in my data set. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK and you'll notice that the last row just disappeared. So the point to remember here is that when you use this option to remove duplicates, it's going to delete the second instance of the record, not the first one. So if you want to keep all your latest records at the top, I suggest that you use the sort option so that way you can have all of your latest records at the top. And if there's a duplicate record, it's going to remove the older version of it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.